G'day, and welcome to Ronico Plays Freshman Year. It's a free game by Nina Freeman. It's a should it's not likely to be a particularly long game. I've been told it's kind of a vignette. I remember seeing something about it on Rock Paper Shotgun and thought, why not? It seems like an interesting thing to let's play. Uh, so the concept uh, is that you're a college freshman. Uh, there, I should say, uh, trigger warning, this does depict a scenario that may be depressing, uh, not depressing, distressing to people who've experienced abuse, so please keep that in mind and prepare yourself if necessary, or um, don't watch. Uh, so let's keep going. Freshman year. You're sitting on your laptop in bed. You live in a dorm with your best friend Jenna. Is not home. You're scrolling through a Facebook album of pictures from a party you went to last weekend and all of your friends look totally wasted. You're glad you didn't end up in any of the pictures. Uh, so just to check, is there anything I can interact with? I should say that um, this is a free game. It is actually on Steam as uh, I show in the sidebar, but uh, the uh, it isn't the best put together game uh, in that it's in a window you won't be able to see this but uh, you can read the window starts off slightly smaller than the image and you can resize it uh, to be slightly bigger than the image but if you make it bigger than the image the actual inner window part doesn't resize at all so it's like um, you'll be able to see it if I do this uh, yeah you can see that OBS is going weird because uh, the area of the window went odd. Okay, so, new message. Jenna, hey, are you coming out tonight? Some of us are meeting up at that bar, Crawley's. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot when to go together. Cool, I'm being a bit lazy, but I'll be... But I'll meet you there. Let's do that. You look at Facebook and scroll through your newsfeed. There's a picture of you with Jenna. You're both posing with your hands on your hip, wearing hips wearing tiny dresses. You stare at the picture and feel a little bad. Jenna is so much thinner than you. Uh, a new message. Okay, meet up in like an hour. Too tired to dress up for dancing, but I'll get ready now. Is anyone cool going to be there? Will I need to wear a new skirt? We decided to wear this new skirt. It's short, tight, and black. All the other girls have been wearing these little things, and you think you'd look good in one too. You wear it with a fitted black t-shirt and a long necklace with a clock on it. You feel like you look pretty cute. You just need to put a little makeup on. Girl, everyone from our floor will be there. You should totally hook up with Tyler. Wink. Oh <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You dig your makeup bag out of your backpack and put on some mascara. It looks nice, but you can see in the mirror that you smudged a little bit near your temple. You remember looking in this past weekend, uh, in the mirror this past weekend, to learn your bark bathroom after puking for at least an hour you had too many Long Island iced teas and as usual and your mascara had gotten smudged all over your cheeks from crying it's always hard for you to tell how many drinks is too many I wonder why Jenna is being so slow to reply uh, <laughs> uh let's not get as destroyed as last weekend lol wow she replied fast this time <laughs> I make no promises uh -huh. Okay, so you're basically asking for a hangover. Uh, you head out of the dorm toward Crawley's. It's really dark out, but there are lots of kids running around outside. They're all from your school, probably. You see some people from your class running by to some party. Another of your friends waves and, sit and asks, Where are you going tonight? Put your skirt down awkwardly and tell her you're meeting up with Jenna. You should probably send her a text. No message from her? Oh, right, it's just looking at your phone. Uh, who's there? You walk towards Crawley's. You hate showing up to bars or parties alone, and you know that Jenna always shows up later than you, so you take your time. Unfortunately, Crawley's is already, is already really close, and you can see it a block away. You just hope she's there. Maybe you'll text her, just to check. Uh, are you there? Oh. Man, I hate this kind of a thing. It's been at least 10 minutes since you showed up outside the bar. No sign of Jenna. The tall bouncer that's always there asks you how you're doing. You tell him you're waiting for a friend and he asks you which one. 
tell him that you're waiting for Jenna. He says he doesn't know her, but he sees you around a lot with your friends. He's really friendly, and it feels nice to have someone to talk to while you wait for Jenna. Finally, some of your other friends from school show up. The, the bouncer recognizes them and doesn't card them. Of course, they're all 18 and 19, but this bar never cards. You think he'll text Jenna and follow them in. Uh, I'm going to head inside. You hang out with your friends, drinking Long Island iced tea, as usual. The music's really loud and you're sort of half dancing, attempting not to spill your drink on your outfit. You stand on your tiptoes midsway, peering over your friends... Uh, peering over your friends' heads towards the entrance, wondering where Jenna is. Did she text you yet? Nope. Uh, I'm dancing and it's fun. Hope you get here soon. Your friends are pretty wasted at this point, and you're feeling a little dizzy yourself. You wonder if Jenna's outside smoking, so you think you'll he get up and check. It's weird hanging out with all these other people anyways. You only started school a month ago, and you haven't gotten close to any of them other than Jenna. Still nothing. Meet me outside if you're here. You wave to the bouncer from earlier as you pass him at the top of the stairs. You step down slowly with your right hand firmly on the railing. You're more drunk than you thought. I guess that standing up really made it hit you. You can see why the bouncer went upstairs when you step outside. It got pretty cold. There's no one out the front of Crawley's. You sigh and turn around to go back inside. Uh, but the bouncer's there. He says, still looking for your friend? What's her name? Jenna? I just came out to look for her, actually. Oh man, I'm sorry about that. You're, pretty, you're a pretty girl, though. So I'm sure you've got other people to chill with. You laugh awkwardly. Is he hitting on you? You wish Jenna would get here already. Oh, that's nice. I don't really know many people here yet. I only moved to New York a month ago. I saw you dancing up there. It looked like you're having a good time. You laugh again and nod your head, but feel a little self-conscious. You don't like when people watch you dance. Jenna! Yeah, you start to walk back inside, but at the bottom of the stairs, the bouncer asks, What's your name? He passes you and leans on the stair railing. God damn it, Jenna. Get Oh, I'm Nina. He says, cool, I'm Clark. Are you going to go back and dance? You feel like he'll watch you again if you go dance. He's sort of cute, but it still makes you feel awkward. Uh, I'm going to send Jenna a text saying, I'm going to head inside. Feel a sudden pressure on your waist. Uh. Good. What's a freaking bouncer? Not what you should be doing. Nina, you hear a familiar voice. Jenna, you can't hear uh, very well over the sound of the bouncer sucking on your neck, the pounding in your ears from being drunk, or maybe you're just startled. He turns away quickly, stepping aside. Hey, you're Jenna, he asks. Like, you feel like your back is glued to the wall and you start breathing quickly. You walk over to Jenna, trying to look calm. She says, let's go in, and grabs your hand, leading you upstairs. Fuck Jenna, he just started making out with me all of a sudden. Thank god you showed up. Uh, Jenna raises her eyebrow and turns all the way to face you. Oh my god, yeah, he totally did the same thing to Liz. But I guess she went along with it and they fucked in the bathroom. What the hell though, he's so creepy. Jenna turns away and pushes through the crowd to the bar. You stand back, leaning against the wall, resting your head in the mirror. You want to go home, but you don't want to walk by that bouncer alone again. You also don't want to make Jenna take you home. She just got there. Stand there, waiting, and look into the mirror. And that is freshman year. Um, I suspect that the main beats of that will play out regardless of how you play through it. I'm not actually going to run through it again. Um, the game is free, uh, the links are in the description, but they're also over on the right there. Um, unfortunately, I can't make links to the websites directly as like video annotations because YouTube um, rules on annotations are kind of a pain, uh, but there's that. Um, yeah, as to the game itself, I mean, obviously it's... It's fairly simple. It's a vignette. It's an experience. It's a kind of experience that I've never had. 
and I sincerely doubt I will. Um, I wasn't the kind of person that would go to bars alone, and also not the kind of person that would get hit at, hit on at those kinds of bars either. Um, at least in the same way that a woman would. Um, but yeah, as you can see from my profile pic, I'm not exactly in that category. Uh, but it was an interesting game. Um, definitely kind of thing that I wouldn't really even think about happening. But um, yeah, that's kind of why I play games, is to get an idea of other experiences, whether they're realistic or not. This one, I'm pretty sure falls into the realism category, sadly enough. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, until next time, have a great day. Bye.